Okay, in this session we're going to talk a little bit about ADW agility. And this, of course, has been a major topic in the enterprise data warehousing circles for several years now. So historically, the concept of agility has really been not a major issue for enterprise data warehousing. Um, today, however, with this kind of a modern approach to enterprise warehousing, we're seeing much more of a need to accommodate operational tasks. So the more the EDW is tied to operational, low latency, um, highly adaptable environments, the more focus there's going to be on how we support agility in this model. So here we're going to talk a little bit about what we mean by agility and what the different types of ca characteristics might be of agility. So first thing we can do for this session is to say agility can be defined as the overall measure of adaptability in terms of speed and scope. And this is within a given um, level of completeness that we're looking for as far as scope. Another way to look at it is the overall performance with regard to adapting to change. Okay? One of the things that's important to keep in mind is that we should separate this current discussion on the concept of agility um, from the things that have to do with warehouse machine throughput. In other words, near real-time processing, how fast you get the information through to the actual user, um, and operational data warehousing performance are separate topics in this case. Each of those type of measures are actually concerned with metrics that have to do with the performance of an existing warehouse, a steady state warehouse. How fast does it actually perform pushing data through to the other side? In contrast, this discussion about agility is related to the idea of how does that EDW adapt to change that hits it. Okay? So not just the performance, but the adaptability to change is what we're looking for here. And if we want to further categorize these concepts, there's four major categorizations we can discuss for the purposes of this discussion. First of all, presentation layer agility. And this is the ability to adapt to new business requirements on existing data elements that are already in the EDW. So the bottom line for this is the ability to quickly and flexibly spin off new data marts. How fast can we uh, get a business requirement if it's already in the context and scope of our enterprise warehouse, how fast can we deliver that information to the, to the user? The next one is new data source agility. So I receive a new data source within the subject area that I'm already dealing with in the warehouse. The ability to assimilate that new data source in the warehouse from stage to EDW, even through to existing marts. And the core thing here is existing because we're not creating a new subject area entirely. We're grab grabbing a new source that has to do with an in-scope, current scope, um, definition of what's already in the warehouse. So the bottom line here is ability to quickly adapt to new data sources using existing structures. The next one is new attribute agility. So now in this case, it's my ability to absorb new attributes, new context defining attributes into the EDW so that they can be loaded in from the sources and hopefully also be utilized. The bottom line here is to the ability to quickly incorporate new attributes into the EDW structure. Of course, last one, EDW machine agility, which is kind of the broader concept of the ability of the EDW itself, business and technical, to accommodate a new subject area from stage all the way to mark. So this would really be how well does that data warehousing business intelligence program um, architect a warehouse that can now take new subject areas and run them all the way through that process. So bottom line, EDW response time, a function of people, process, and tools for the whole warehouse machine. So let's move to the board for just a moment and take a look here at, uh, at the four uh, categorizations that we have. Um, the first thing that we talked about a little bit was presentation layer agility. And again, the presentation layer agility says, I have a new requirement that comes in from a business Mark, let's say, reporting perspective, based on in-scope data we already have. So this presentation layer agility deals with this area here of my architecture. My ability to have an ETL team source the data from the warehouse, 
create that new MART or reporting structure based on a set of business requirements that have come in uh, for, from a new uh, business unit or from a business unit, and how fast can I make this happen? Now, you've probably heard, you know, there's uh, um, anything from two months, three months, uh, to as little as a couple days to a week, uh, depending on the way that your warehouse program works. Ideally, we're targeting one, two, three day turnaround once we have a strong definition of what those requirements are. Okay. The other one here we're going to look at is new data source agility. So this means that a new data source has come in that it's within scope of stuff we're already working with. So in this case, I'm really concerned with how do I get this new data source represented in the warehouse? And to whatever extent possible, of course, this is within a current scope, can I get the information here now represented also in these marts as I move through? So that's a new data source agility. So in this case, for example, I have a um, situation where I'm running uh, sales for four different stores. Um, we have a new business unit that uh, establishes a fifth store. That data starts coming in. I want to be able to take that data and load it through the warehouse. How fast can I do that? Another one now is new attribute agility. And this is a really interesting one because with a new attribute, what I'm really saying is, is I have an attribute that wasn't contemplated within my warehouse before. Okay, so I'm now receiving a new attribute, a new instance of descriptive information or new key information into the warehouse architecture that was not contemplated before this point. Now what's interesting about this is that in order for me to have basically a model change, an architectural modeling change to my warehouse, I need to be able to actually go into, example here, a table that has attributes in it. I have to be able to modify that table and add a new attribute into it. Not a big deal, except it does require now that I'm going to make a uh, data model architectural change. I have to insert this attribute into the correct location. I have to know what it means. I have to have an understanding of how it works. I have to do this in a test environment, rebuild this table. I have to then run it through quality assurance, run it through to production, make sure that it works. Well, this, this process, you know, I think on average for a large organization might be at least a two to three month window, a two to three month window to have new attributes introduced into the warehouse architecture and flowing all the way through. So this is another uh, form of agility and it really has to do with this. It's a plus attribute. Now the next one we talked about was EDW machine agility. Now the EDW machine agility, the overall measure says, I need to know that I can get a new subject area pushed in through stage modeled into my warehouse, and then related marts. So it's from stage all the way to mart, a new subject area. How fast does my EDW existing now, existing EDW, allow me to bring in a new area? And this actually, the reason we bring up the context of um, this is a people and process and tools combined approach, like everything is, but this is very important because this is really every piece along the way has to work in, in unison and work properly for me to be able to do this. The same skill set here can then, of course, be applied to uh, a new warehouse, a greenfield project somewhere else. How fast can we start from scratch and have this kind of a thing set up? What's the overall EDW machine agility? So let's pop back to the slides here for just a minute. The summary here then is we have Presentation layer agility, how quite quick can we, we create new marts, new data source agility. We have something within the scope we're all reworking with, but there's new sources. How fast do we assimilate those? We have a new attribute that comes in. And with a new attribute, keep in mind, it's complicated because we have to not just technically load that attribute in, but we also need to be able to define what the attribute means from a business perspective in order to be able to use it, in order to know which tables to put it in. So there, it has more of a process associated with it. 
And then the overall EDW machine agility. How fast, how well does your Data Warehousing BI program work? How well is it able to do it? Of course, that's where we get back down to we cannot be looking at this concept as purely tools-based or even from a perspective of um, methods or procedures. It's a, it's a combination of people, process, and tools that has to be put in place to make this happen properly. And then the broader Data Warehousing BI program now needs to take into consideration not just these different areas of agility, but what are the requirements in your business for these different types of agility? Where do those things fall into? Now, um, I will tell you that we've worked with multiple different clients that have very different levels of agility requirements. And in particular, for example, with regard to attribute agility, new attribute agility, there are some uh, clients working with um, very rapid fire uh, requirements for attribute agility. And of course, when you do that, you need to take into consideration how can you adjust your people, process, tools, your Dweeby program, in order to be able to accommodate now what those new requirements are. And of course, that's the ongoing fun challenges that we have within warehousing. So we'll see you in the next session. Thank you.